Hello everyone. Allow me to present the Project Buhawi, which stands for Building a Universal Mount for Heavy Barrel Automated Weapons Integration. Buhawi is the first locally developed remote controlled weapon station in the country equipped with a 50 caliber heavy barrel machine gun. The project promotes the adage, Gawang Pilipino para sa Pilipino. Buhawi is a collaborative project undertaken by DOSCMRDC, the Department of National Defense with the Philippine Navy, and the Mechatronics and Robotics Society of the Philippines. But first, let us watch a video footage of an actual encounter between the Philippine Navy and insurgents. Please take note that there is a spotter, the one holding the binoculars and giving directions to the gunner. And also, please observe that both the gunner and the spotter are in the direct line of fire. It is in this setting that the project was conceived. So the general objective of the project is to improve the firepower capability of Navy floating assets and provide personal safety through the design and development of an automated gun mount for 50 caliber machine gun. The design of the mechanical system was developed by the MARDC team. The materials used are made from uh, stainless steel 316L, otherwise known as marine stainless steel, to prevent corrosion. Also, 3D printing technologies were used for the housing of components to make the gun mount lighter. For the gun control system, it is both developed by MRSP and MIRDC. We use Python programming because it's a very useful tool. For making uh, software prototypes, we also developed three algorithms for the tracking and locking program of the Buhawi. In order to prove the functionality, reliability, and durability, a series of land-based live test fires were conducted. The result of the land-based testing was a success. The next step undertaken was installing Buhawi onto one of the Navy's patrol craft, the BRP Heracleo Alano or PC-376. So on April 4, 2022, was the first sea trial testing in the vicinity of Corregidor Islands. Let us now watch a video footage of the sea testing. Meanwhile, at the PC-376, Navy and MIRDC teams alike prepare for the firing sequence to commence. Once cleared, the firing sequence at different intervals and varying distances began. Firing. First shot. Beginning at around 2 in the afternoon, the Tayfire Sea Trial ended around sunset. With the successful Tayfire, the next endeavor was to test Buhawi's effectiveness during the night at sea. Starting at around 2 in the morning, the current sea state proved to be quite a challenge to the Buhawi. However, after a few more attempts, target was locked and shots were fired. In order to ensure Buhawi's full operating efficacy at night, another test fire activity was done. This time, not only was the target acquired, the floating target sunk due to the hits it sustained. The result of the sea testing proves that Buhawi is operational and effective at acquiring and hitting the floating target on both night and day at moderate to rough sea states condition. With the success of the live fire sea testing, the Buhawi was turned over to the Philippine Navy on May 20, 2022 by none other than DOSA Secretary Fortunato T. De La Peña and the DND Secretary Delphine and Lorenzana. And at present, the Bohawi is being tested for actual operation somewhere at the location of the West Philippine Sea. It is envisioned that more Bohawi units can be locally manufactured to serve the needs of the armed forces of the Philippines. In conclusion, the DOSC MRDC, together with its partner, proves that Filipinos can develop and manufacture defense technologies that are at par with the current global trends. Thank you.